He was extraordinary leader because he was he, he was so quiet. I remember the first time I came to New York. I grew up in a, an emotional household. My mother Flemish, my father Dutch, and on the table, instead of pass the butter, be pass the butter. <laughs> you know, that's what I grew up with. Pass the butter. And I went to New York, and Jerry Jewell and Jim picked me up in the station wagon, and Jim was driving right here, and I was right next to him, and Jim was talking like this. Well, it's really nice to, and I thought I was deaf. Immediately, Jim and Frank started performing very well together. And almost the first thing that Frank did was to play the extra hand of Ralph, who then had a weekly spot on Jimmy Dean's show. I remember every show, we'd be up there with the writers, and rehearsing and rehearsing and rehearsing, and Jim had a good training period. Jim was not a man who liked to be told what to do. He, he, he was more of a free spirit. Not that he was rebellious, it's just that he, he couldn't contain his energy of wanting to do something new and fresh himself. But he heard it from them and he took it because he knew it was a, uh, uh, these were old guard comedy writers who knew how to deliver punchlines. Left cross, right cross, left cross, right cross, left cross, right cross, left cross, right cross. And if he hits me, blue cross, red cross. <laughs> no! Now, wait. Come in. Look, look, I'm going to help you. Wait, open wide. Uh, open wide. Uh, Let's see that. Now. Hey, what happened to the popsicle? Now, open wide. Ha, 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 ha. Hey, doc, there's a hole in your headlight. Now, get out of here. <laughs> It will also relieve infection of tissue and is extremely effective in severe cases of laryngitis for best results of use at room temperature and spray gently over the entire throat. <laughs> what the heck happened? My belly button blew up. The exposure of Ralph was pretty significant, I think. It was the first real... Um, countrywide, because of the network appearances, countrywide acceptance of, of one of Jim's characters. 